Now I pass the word to our new Right to Food UN Special Rapporteur on the Right to Food, Professor Hilal Elver, who is a researcher at the University of California, Santa Barbara. She is an international environment and human rights lawyer who work on water, climate change, women's rights, and human security. And she used to be one of the members of the UNFCC Climate Change Convention from the Turkey team and taught at the University of Ankara. And she is appointed in June 2014 for the Special Rapporteur position. I, we give her the word now. Thank you very much, uh, Flavio, and dear distinguished panelists and uh, dear guests. Uh, first of all, I appreciate for the invitation. It's always good to be in, in FAO, which is the center of the global food policy. And it's very nice to be together with the civil society organizations to remind that people are the most important part of the global food policy. If we look at what is happening around the world, maybe we will not see easily people are the major subject and object of this uh, food policy, global food policy issues, but that's why this report is very important to remind us we really have to look at the issues from the perspective of human rights. If we don't look at the issues from the perspective of human rights, we'll be we, we will go some unknown kind of road that is not maybe desirable if you look at back. I, I feel that we are sort of at the crossroad in 2014 because what happened since 1948, the Universal Human Rights uh, uh, Declaration, civil and political rights and economic and social rights came. And then in 1966, we have this covenants, economic and social uh, uh, and cultural rights in one, ha one hand and the uh, political, political and civil rights on the other hand we become much more uh, human rights oriented community in the world. Uh, but uh, despite all this, uh, civil rights movement, of course, civil society movement was very important to establish civil rights very strongly. But the economic and social rights somehow always uh, came behind more weaker, more policy oriented rather than human rights oriented. Unfortunately, right to food is part of this kind of behind uh, among the rights. And many of the countries, when you talk about the right to food, they don't accept this as a right to food. We are in the po position that we really have to make sure and make clear that the right to food is a human right. That is one of the uh, Ta uh, one of the tasks that UN Human Rights Council is taking with the special rapporteur position. The special rapporteurship position, it started around 2000, and there were two earlier special rapporteurs, and I am the third one. As you see, it's a very, very new kind of system. There are lots of human rights systems that we are uh, pursuing since in, uh, 1990s, as you see, right to foot, actually relatively better position than some of the other rights. But still, if we see what our Via Campesino friends said, we have lots of documents, lots of uh, declarations, a lot of meetings. But what is happening on the ground, if you read the report, it's it's really sad. It's sad, and as Jomo said, we are not there yet, and it seems to be we will not be there yet very soon. That's why I'm thinking we are in the crossroad. Either we're going to go to more quantity-oriented, production-oriented food, global food policies, which more high, uh, rely on technology and the big-time agribusinesses or we're gonna support small farmers, agroecology, human rights-oriented policies that what will happen in the future. 
We don't have too much time. If you look at the IPCC report, which is Intergovernmental uh, Panel of Climate Change report recently, actually starting from 2009, they took the food issue is a very serious problem in relation to climate change. Now we are dealing with the climate change seriously in international community. As you know, we will have a new uh, uh, framework, new, new convention. It will be in uh, 2015 Paris. They are starting right now to drafting. In this draft, the agricultural policy is not there, but it is coming next to this conversation. It's a very serious issue, how to deal with the climate change policy with the global agricultural policy. That's why it's very, very important right now. We have to push the global community to see the future from the perspective of two different policies. If we don't get rid of completely big agribusiness agricultural policies, how are we going to make them human rights friendly? This is a kind of middle road. Or we have to really make our uh, commitment to the people, small farmers, which 80% of our food is coming from, especially if you look at the developing countries, basically the, our, what, what we eat comes from the small farmers. And their technology is not really very behind on big agribusinesses. If we talk about the food sovereignty, we should talk about, the, or if we talk about the right to food, we have to think about how we're going to access the resources. Do we have an access to soil? Do we have an access to water? Do we have an access to seed? And do we have an access to credit? If we give all these four points to the small farmers, and we can see, let's see, how they're going to compete with the agribusinesses. We have to really look at the from the new perspective to right to food. If you look at again, uh, of course, it's a very important thing to uh, to be from to be free from hunger. This is part of our policies. But now the global production policy, especially starting from 2008, which was a kind of alarming period that the food uh, prices skyrocketed and we started to think about what went wrong. Yes, there was something wrong. It went wrong. But at the same time, agricultural, agribusinesses also became so alert on that, how to deal with this an important issue from the perspective of corporate, uh, profit-minded uh, understanding. I am not saying that we should completely get rid of the, all the corporate businesses, but we should really be alert. We should really watch, like we did with this report or some other many reports that comes from the civil society organizations or some UN organizations. For instance, business and uh, the human rights is one of the important issues right now UN Human Rights Council is dealing. We have to look the issue from the perspective of what is the global economic order right now and how we're we gonna push the right to foot little further than it came to, uh, from 2004 to 2014. That was a success stories. There are lots of constitutions, lots of framework laws. Many Latin American countries made revolutionary uh, development, but still, we are behind. We are behind this. But more importantly, what we have to be alert, what we're going to do in the future. In this sense, maybe right to food position, I will try to make to uh, more kind of uh, policy oriented way to deal with the future uh, development, what we can do in the future for the people of the world and still hunger more than 800 million. Thank you very much.